My passion with this is having got my own health back, I want to help other people do the same thing. Because that used to be me. Can you hear me at the back? That's the important bit, isn't it? Whether the mic's working properly or not, as long as you can hear me, that's the important bit. The truth is, I don't know what you should eat because every one of us is different. What I do know is that I'm increasingly kind of coming across people who try and make these changes and they don't stick. You know, they'll implement um, juicing, for example, but they'll treat it almost like a diet. And so they'll do 30 days or 60 days or something on juice, and then they'll go back to their old way of eating. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, therefore, is not an act, but a habit. But ultimately, you've got to do what's right for you. You just have to embrace the now and make the most of things as they come to us. Because when you give your body a nat its natural state, when you give it what it naturally needs to thrive, you know, not just to survive, then guess what? You look after it, it looks after you. But think about your, your relationship with food and in particular the foods that you maybe don't really want in your life but you turn to when you have a bad day. You eat what you are. Now you've probably heard the saying you are what you eat. Um, anyone that's been to some of my like Reclaim Your Health workshops will know that I actually change that slightly to you are what you absorb. But here's the thing, you also eat what you are. And what I mean by that is, you know, if you're, if you're having toxic thoughts, I pretty much guarantee the foods you crave are toxic foods, right? You know, nobody's feeling like, you know, really down, depressed and need to eat emotionally and rushes out and grabs a banana. Almost nobody, nobody I know of. You know, the foods we crave in those sort of situations tend to be foods that are actually toxic for us. Foods with lots of sugar, foods with lots of fat, you know, bars of chocolate, bags of crisps, um, cake, you know, stuff like that. Uh, bottles of wine. And so, you know, in all seriousness, I want you also to remember that your emotions will affect what you eat. And pay attention to that. And if you find yourself slipping there, if you find yourself eating foods that you don't really want to eat, and that's the point, it's whether you want to eat them or not. Right? It's not whether you can. You can eat anything. It's what you want to eat. And if you find yourself craving foods that you actually think, I don't really want this, try and understand what the emotion is. Try and understand what it is that's triggering that thought in you. And make notes. You know, and if you, to be honest, even if you eat the foods, make notes of how you feel before, make notes of how you feel after. Look back. 